Hey guys, we all know to shoot some clean and simple newborn photos isn't easy in comparison with those props. First thing first is to use the right posing system. There's so many on the market ranging from a few thousand bucks to a few hundred dollars and even can go budget like fifty dollars or under to build your own DIY backdrop stand like this which I did a few years back when I first started. Yes, I made my own backdrop stand back in six years ago using PVC tubes, those plumbing tubes. Ah, oh, but it turned out to be a disaster. Don't get me wrong, they are good for the budget, but I hate it after the few uses. It's just too wonky. You end up having wrinkles and it all just collapses. Maybe I did it wrong. So over the past six years, I've been using quite a few beanbag systems. Out of all these, which one do I recommend in terms of the best value for money? Stick around. Now the first one is this, I believe, 45 US dollars. It was a bit more expensive before. Um, this system is good. It's widely and commonly used in China because of the price and the portability. It can be disassembled. It's just not very easy to do that. I'm not too bothered to disassemble every time. The size is about um, one meter diameter and it's extremely low as you can see. This is not very healthy for my back. That is the size of the baby in against to the backdrop. To take it on to the client's home for an on location shoot, you still would need to uh, remove one of these bars in order to fit into your car. Two star, unfortunately, I read this. All right. Now this one, the beanbag, is from uh, Grace and Designs. It's called the Perfect Posy. The beanbag stand is designed to pair with the posy. So the size is a slightly smaller, measuring a diameter of about 80 centimeters. It's compact. It'll fit into your car without having to disassemble any of the bars. The difference between these two is, um, see how this has two horizontal bars, whereas this one has only one which means you can clamp onto both of them or you can use it to create some um, vertical shots. Similar to the other backdrop stand, unfortunately I would rate it 2.5 stars because of my back. Number three, I have been using it with my original photo box Mother Bean for over four years now. Um, I would say I love and hate it. The reason I love it is because it's large enough, 1.1 meters diameter. It's rigid and stable. The round design makes it easy to rotate around for a precise posing. But paired up with my mother bean, the anti-slippery bean bag, the cost is close to $1,000. My back issue is still there. But compared with the other two systems, at least I can kneel to pose a baby, I can still survive. So I would rate this system a three stars out of five. Now this budget system, since I've already sold it a while back, I don't have a picture or footage, I just took from online. It's budget, costs only about 30 bucks to build a PVC system. As I mentioned, it's too wonky. If I had to build it, I would absolutely invest in a bit more to build something nicer and more rigid and long durability, which is the next one. So this one I would rate only a one star. Okay, coming to a $100 budget system, highly recommend using this. It's essentially a card table. I used a card table in one of my workshops previously and I totally loved it. See how easy I can put my legs down? So I just told myself I have to build it for myself, my own studio. Now it's the time. I wanted to show you. It's a four foot bifold trestle table from Bunnings. You can find from any hardware store. Layering with a piece of foam. On top of that is a dog bed. Some people have been asking me why do I need to use a dog bed? Is it necessary? Well, my answer is no. First of all, the dog bed is already available in my studio. So instead of finding another way to store it, I can just put it on top and I can place it onto the floor if I want to different variations. The second reason is it's uh, wider than my folding table so that I can have a larger surface to work on when it comes to an older baby or I can just lay the fabric down for backlit lighting. The third reason is it's easier to clamp around the edge of the dock bed rather than the edge of the table itself. The frame in between is to stop the dock bed from sliding around on the table. Why do I use a beanbag stand rather than build a PVC stand like my photographer friend did? 
Let me show you this. This is what I used in Dallas workshop to pose my newborn um, for beanbag photos. So what she has, it's such a genius setup. Look at that, it's a car table from Walmart. Apparently it costs nothing. And it has all these PVC pipes that taped for extra security and a piece of foam, a tablecloth to prevent wee accidents and a few layers. And the PVC pipes, they go all the way to the back, reaching to the floor. But just for the back side, the front side is supported by these legs. And now four legs plus this stand. My version is a little bit different. I use backdrop stand because it's available, but I don't like the legs. However, I like the height can be adjusted accordingly. And it can be pushed away and closer for different looks or for the different length of my fabric. Whereas the PVC tubes, I can only do one height to eight. Price-wise, because you're not gonna need an extra cost for the bean bag. So the whole system here, I'm rating a four stars. Losing one star is because I need some improvement. Now the dog bed legs are away from the table, so it just gives it a little bit of insecurity. Some safety issues, so I'm trying to find some straps and harness to secure the legs in place. It's still easy enough to detach the dog bed. After that, we can rate it five star. Okay, let me clarify. These reviews are based on my personal preferences and my experiences. Please weigh the pros and cons yourselves based on your own needs. If you are a travel photographer, I highly recommend you using none of these, but a very easy system, which I teach in the Milky Way Newborn Retreat in 2023. How I use a collapsible diffuser to create a seamless background to pose our newborn baby for studio looks. When it comes to newborn photography, the gears always come as a secondary. Learn the right skills, you can make anything, everything to work. If online teaching videos isn't for you, welcome to my in-person workshop. Information can be found in the description below. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!